Take James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install the best Neo Geo Pocket Color emulator onto your PlayStation Vita. So the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. And now once Vita Shell finally loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to Neopop's GitHub in the description of this video and all you want to do is scroll down and we want to get the latest release which was released in July 2016 and it's a VPK file, so just click on it and then it will begin downloading. So now you just need to head over to your computer's downloads folder and just find the VPK in here. So I've also got my Neo Geo Pocket Color ROMs. I've got an um, SNK vs Capcom and Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure. So it's up to you where you get these from. They're very easy to find. But what you guys want to do is actually right click, create a new folder and just call it Neo Pop Vita, exactly like this. Now inside of this folder, you need to create two more folders. So right click, new folder. One is called ROMs and the other is called Save data so with your roms you want to drag and drop them into this folder and then obviously drop them into the roms folder so get this kind of file that you've just made and this needs to go into your ps vita's data folder so simply drag and drop it across i'm just going to replace mine next we need to get the vpk and this just goes on the root of our playstation vita so drag and drop it across wait for it to copy across and that is it we are now done with the pc so we can now go back onto our playstation vita and i will show you guys what to do next right guys back over on your playstation vita you just want to find the vpk that you recently added so mine is in my uxo and here is mine neopopvita.vpk press x on it press x again to start installing the package so now it's done, we can just exit out of Vita Shell and completely close it down. Now we just need to find the app on our home screen. So here it is, Neopop Vita. Now it's actually very well made, so we can just press X just to open it up. And now just tap on Start. So I think this was last updated in 2016, it's probably not going to get another update, but it's actually pretty well designed, and um, I actually really like it, it's a decent emulator. So just press on right, and now it will bring us up so we can launch a game. So press X on the ROMs folder, and now you need to find a ROM which you wish to play. So we're going to choose Sonic the Hedgehog here, so we're just going to press X to open it. Now what it's going to do is it's going to load it, but the screen might not be the right size for you. So what you have to do is press left and right at exactly the same time. Now we can scroll along and just go to the options menu. So you, we can actually edit the scale here. Um, so we've got like full screen. Um, let's just see. I think we might do four by three. So we're just going to press X on that. Uh, we've got other stuff in here. We've got system. You guys can enable sound. It should be enabled by default. Obviously, you can change other stuff in options. We can turn FPS on just by using right here if we want to turn it on. Um, we've got controls. We've got save slash load. And then we've just got game. So once you've configured the game, just press on X just to reopen it. And then it should load up how you want it. So this is sort of the size um, that the Neo Geo Pocket Color would have had. This is like the perfect screen size for it. As you can see, FPS at the top here as well. Right now it's on 59 to 60 FPS. So let's just start this. I believe the square button is what would be the A button. Now we can actually alter the screen a bit more. So if you guys don't really like how this looks right now, you can change it. Let me just show you what full screen looks like. Um, that's this one. And just go back and then this is what full screen looks like so yeah pretty cool emulator i really like it and um, the colors look very vibrant it looks really nice um, it runs decently there's no really um you know massive fps drops it does drop a bit as you can see it's dropped down to 40 right now but it's definitely still playable and everything like that um, and this does have working sound as well if i just turn the sound up you guys can hear it. So yeah, pretty cool emulator. And um, let's just launch the other game. So we're going to press left and right. Let's launch SNK vs Capcom. Never actually played this game before. Let's just see what it's like. So this game appears to run a lot better than Sonic did. This game is actually running at 
and roughly likes just solid 60 which is actually pretty cool and yeah i like how these games work they look really nice and they're pretty cool if you've never actually played them before there's some really good classic ones you can get so that is pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one